what good is religion if it leads to violence and hatred? Good question. What good is religion if it leads to violence and hatred? Like that's what people see that uh, religions like Judaism and Christianity and Islam, people hate each other. So why is it even good to have religion if people hate each other? Uh, to be honest, I'm spiritual, so I, I don't have an answer for that. Okay. But I think that what leads to uh, hate, or let's say uh, racism, it's politics. It's all about politics. Okay. So we leave the spiritual side and we focus on politics. So that's why. So I'm trying to see the things from a different lens. Okay. So to be, uh, let's say, to deal with each other, with equality, with dignity, with respect. So all of these things will lead to more humanity life. But when it comes to politics, I think, yeah. It, so it's politics? Yeah, leaded by uh, hate. Do you think that some people are using religion for political? For you think? Pol yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, I do. Yeah. What good is religion if it leads to so much violence and hatred? This does not represent religion. Hatred and violence does not represent the Islam that we are used to and that we know. Because Islamic religion calls for tolerance, love, and forgiveness. But a lot of people uh, use violence or use violence in the name uh, of Islam. This is called terrorism, and they are using it to uh, ruin and to ruin the image of, uh, of Islam. Okay, so when you hear about people doing that, do you get angry at the them? Yeah, yeah, of yeah? course. Okay. Yeah, because this not is the Islamic uh, religion. It's not the Islamic yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Does that also include like vile, um, sorry, armed resistance against Israelis? Or are you, do you like, mean people outside? What? Again. Does that, are you referring to also armed resistance against Israelis? Are you it, saying that does not represent Islam? Does not represent Islam. Armed resistance does not represent uh, Islam. Okay. Uh, what good is religion if it leads to violence and hatred? Religion would be useless if it did call for violence and, uh, and hatred because our religion calls for peace. But there's a lot of people who, in the name of Islam, will use will will use uh, uh, violence. Well, I can think of many people who use the religion as a way to do violence. In the name of Islam, they use violence. Right. These people are just extremists. It's true, but but uh, they are extremists, and our religion forbids it. Islam, na, I mean, our religion, na, ma, la, 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 our religion does not call for or uh, or instigate uh, hatred or violence or anything or any of the things that are broadcasted and shown to the outside world. And wait, are you Christian or, or Muslim? Christian. Hmm. Because I've asked a lot of Christians today. Where? Where are you finding these Christians? <laughs> Everywhere. Okay, here, here's a Christian, here's a Christian question, which is... Can I get a list of names? I was about to say something inappropriate, but never mind. Okay, I'll, I'll wait. Let's, let's wait for that one. Um, the question is, what good is religion if it leads to violence and hatred? I think it gives individuals morals. Morals, okay. Yeah, okay. I think it's a source of morals. Okay. Do you think it's true that a lot of religion here is used... Uh, uh, towards violent means, oh, I mean, or people sure. use religion. Definitely, definitely everywhere. It's starting with like ISIS. Okay. That's like the biggest example I could come to think of. Okay. No, but even here, 
people will say in the name of Islam, in the name of Judaism, yeah. in the name of well, Christianity, less so, but because uh, you guys are smaller. But uh, but wait. That's true. <laughs> so so then, what do we do about that? In your opinion. What do we do about that? You have to re-educate all of society, starting over. Okay. I think it's more like the upcoming generation's responsibility. Okay. Using religion to do that, or what would you say about that? I don't think using religion, no, because I think people have taken religion and used it for the wrong things, or like they retranslate it for their own benefit. Mm -hmm. But I'd say through something more... I don't want to say religious, but also not scientific, just out of more logical ways. Because like we've come a long way as humans. We should know better despite religion. What is the benefit of religion if it leads to violence and hate, in her opinion? What do you think? What is the benefit of religion if it leads to violence and hate? What is the benefit of Never has there any religion been... Uh, Never has any religion led to uh, hatred and violence. Well, um, there have been operations against uh, Israelis that killed women and children in the name of Islam. But I can. I'm talking about that there were operations that were done. There were operations that killed women and children in the name of Islam. No, not the name of Islam. It is not in the name of religion. Palestinians have always lived together, Christians, Muslims, and Jews. We are, we are resisting uh, occupation, not anything else. Yeah, but it's still violence. If it kills an old person, if it kills a child, it's violence. Religion has nothing to do with it. She's saying that religion does not have to do with the uh, the operations. What about the violence that comes from the other side? Yes, also I agree. But I I agree. Um, the, the, the problem is not with the religions, the problem, the problem is with the occupation that came. What good is religion if it leads to violence and hatred? All religions don't have violence, and they do not call to violence. It's human beings, it's man who calls on to violence. Okay, but some some religious leaders call for violence sometimes. Well, I can see Qada, Qada Din, any Qiyadiyin in the Din, bidah ul al-Anf. Like Hamas and Islamic Jihad. No, 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 no. Din al-Islam, Din al-Yahudi, Din al-Masih. Any Din موجود من من الله لم يدعو إلى العنف. الإنسان ما يطلع على الإنسان هو شو بيعمله. الدين دعاء إلى السماح. Do not call on for violence or hatred. Uh, it's it's man and human beings who did this. Religions from God, the religions that are from God, call for peace, tolerance, uh, forgiveness. Okay, so violence is But the religions, the religions call on for peace and tolerance. So then why do groups like Hamas use religion? You're saying religion Hamas is a political group. I can't, I can't say this answer politics and religion. There are two different things. You asked me about religion, and that's what religion is. So you're obviously Muslims. Yes. Um, what is the benefit of religion if it leads to violence and hate? Okay, and to Muslims, from the Islam, what is the benefit of religion if it leads to violence and hate? 
She's a she's a religion teacher. No. Oh. Our religion is tolerance, and it's nice if I lived next to my Christian neighbor. But they have their religion, and I have my religion. And just don't, don't, uh, and my relationship with them is good as long as it doesn't conflict with my religion and beliefs. Okay. So then, what, but why is there so much violence and hate? In the name of religion. In the name of religion. So, why do you think a lot of hate and hate in the name of religion? People do things that are behaviors. This is a shortcoming from the people who preach because they are not delivering the correct information and knowledge to the people. Okay. It's their fault for not delivering the correct knowledge and information to the people. Okay. Yeah, she lives in Hebron. According to the behaviors of people, they, uh, so you cannot judge a religion by the behaviors of people. Okay. They do not reflect the religion. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you live in Hebron. Would can a Jew be your neighbor? in in the suburbs of Hebron. هل ممكن يهودي يكون جارك؟ يكون جار يهودي أو مسيحي، لكن في أمن وأمان من عادي أخت الجيران هيا لا اعتداء. Yes, it's fine. Or or Christian, as long as they don't harm us. إذا إنسان يعني بعيش بأمن وأمان. My neighbors are are Jews and they're fine. Okay. يعني أنا إذا هو ما اعتدى علي ولا إيش ليش أنا اعتدى عليه؟ If he does not harm me, why would I harm him? هي ال ال اليهود كانوا في المدينة المنورة زمن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قبائل يهودية كثيرة متعددة كانت تعيش بأمن وأمان. There were Jews in the Medina in Saudi Arabia in the time of the Prophet peace be upon him. There were tribes of Jews and they were fine. آه ما سمعت إيش شو شو؟ أقول لما ذهب الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم على جار اليهودي فأدوا إنه ما كان شيء عودة راح لأمريض راح مكان زارة. اليهودي كان دائما عم بيقدر الرسول. so there was so there is a there is a very famous story where there was a Jew who always used to harm the prophet peace be upon him every single day and when the Jew wasn't there to harm the prophet that day the prophet said where is he and he went to visit him this was a reason the Jew converted into Islam. what good is religion if it leads to violence and hatred? شوف فائدة الدين، شوف فائدة الدين إذا بيأدي للكراهية والعنف، شو الفائدة منه إذا بيجيب فرق؟ لا ما ظنيش ولا مرة يعني الدين إنه بيأدي إلى عنف كل من هو بيتبع الدين يتبع يعني اليهودي والمسيحي والإسلام والشيعة والكل هذول يعني الكل يعتمد على الدين تبع يعني التسميم ما بيأدي الدين للعنف أبدا يعني All those who are following their religion Shiites, Muslims, Jews, Christians when they follow it it doesn't lead to hatred and violence Okay, but there are so many Jews and Muslims who have used violence in the name of their religion ولكن هو عم بحكي في كثير مسلمين وفي كثير يهود استعملوا الدين عشان يقوموا بعنف لا 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 هي يعني اقليه لا تذكر يعني يعني it's an unmentionable minority that does this okay on both sides على الجهتين اه اه الجهتين يعني اقليه لا تذكر يعني 1% 2% 1 or 2% it's an unmentionable minority انه في يعني وضع كويس يعني وبحترم الديانه انا كنت اشتغل في اسرائيل صدقيني انه المعلم تبعي كان يهدي فيي اني اصلي والله يهودي كان كان يطلب مني اني اصلي Jews and Muslims live together very well When I used to work in Israel my boss used to always remind me to pray A Jewish boss A Jewish boss he used to remind me to pray والله كان يطلب مني اني اصلي هو آه ويقول لي ويحكي لي عن الدين وكل شيء وعن الإسلام وكان يفسر لي القرآن. He would also tell me about Islam and he would also explain the Quran to me. Yeah, I'm impressed too. Do you think then Jews and Muslims can live in peace? He said it so quietly. هل برأيك المسلمين واليهود ممكن يعيشوا بسلام؟ ممكن يعيشوا بسلام. ممكن. 
يعطيك العافيه الله يعيشوا بسلام اذا اليهود اعطوا يعني الحقوق كامله للشعب The Palestinian people. Yes, the Palestinians. Does the Arab people? Ah, I mean, if they give the Arab people their full rights, on the land, 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 on the uh, Arabic coffee. I was just offered by a random person on the street. Arabic coffee. Thank you very much, Mr. Cute Guy. If you want to support the channel, I would love to hear from you. I would please subscribe. Uh, please donate uh, so I can come to places like this and ask your questions. And please keep sending me questions. I love your questions. I love coming here. Watch the Ask Project.